take this. CB Super. A little while back, I had created this fast noise that uh, looks like water because I made it as a Fusion Comp. You can you could uh, download that Fusion Comp. I'll still have a link as to you know where the Fusion Comp is. It's gonna be on my Google Drive. Uh, I went ahead and I just turned it into a tool really quickly. So I'll show you that tool. It's just CB Water. The tool itself is pretty much um, already set up. It's just this is what it's gonna look like uh, as soon as you drop and drag. And then if you come into the details here, into the inspector, you can play with the uh, the actual water detail. Uh, as you would imagine, this is detail that is just connected to any fast noise. Um, th the higher you turn it up, the more detail you're going to have. And where it's going to be noticeable is going to be right here on the edge. So if you want a little bit more of a like frothy, white, foamy edge, uh, you can just turn up the detail a little bit. Uh, that is, you know, anytime you're playing with fast noise and detail, just be aware that uh, the higher the detail, the little bit more computationally heavy it's going to run. Wave intensity is really just the contrast. It's just going to lift contrast if, if uh, you need it. So water level, um, you know, raise it up or down. Scale is going to just be scale for the pattern. So the higher the scale, the more uh, condensed that pattern is going to be. Vice versa, if you drop the scale down, you're basically going to drop it to where you're looking at uh, one very small portion of the of the pattern, which means that it's basically going to be just looking at you know like a, a pixel width. So it's not going to have very much uh, it's not going to have very much texture here. So if you want to raise it up, you can. It's going to make it a little bit more chaotic, a little bit more wavy. Um, I left the seed rate pretty low, but I mean, you guys can play with that. If you want more seed rate, you can. Um, and then this is basically just the gradient that you would see on the second tab. Uh, you can change the color if you want. That's that's actually not the way to do that. If you want to change the color, just come to this uh, this first triangle over here. You can you know turn it into like a green ooze. If you... The second triangle right here is the actual white edge that's at the end. Um, you know you can set that to whatever color you want. If you want that to be like a white, like a greenish white, you can do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go back to like a blue color. And then of course um, the third triangle here at the very end is your alpha or your black. So if you come over here and say you turn it to white, you're going to lose that alpha. All right, And then uh, if you drop all the way down to the bottom, you can also come over here, you can play around with this repeat. If you uh, hit it on repeat, you'll notice you'll get a different effect. And if you play it, you'll get kind of a neat like, you know, uh, moving wave effect all across the screen. Um, you can play around with ping pong once. Once is usually is what it's going to be on standard. And then if you come down here to flow speed, so flow speed is actually the direction and the speed in which the water is moving. So by default, it's set up to uh, like a negative number here, a very small negative number. Um, so you'll notice as it's playing, if I I drop it over to say zero. It's going to stop it completely because zero is it not moving at all. And then if I want it to flow to the right, I can move it to the right. And if I want it to flow to the left, I can move it to the left. So I try to set it up so it, it's obviously running on an expression. It's a time times uh, whatever this number is in this uh, in this flow dial here or this slider and then it's dividing it by two. So it's trying to make it so it's not running too fast. You can speed it up, you know, really fast if you want to, you know, it'll look kind of weird, but um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, just like any other tool, you can uh, you can merge it with other things. So um, say we want to use this, um, but it doesn't, this doesn't naturally have its own alpha channel. So I can just, you know, run this in through a bitmap Turn the channel to, you can do a luminance of fine. And so you can do some kind of neat things here. You know, you can just play around with it. You can come over to the water level here. Boost it up. You could even animate this, which is kind of neat. And if this isn't high enough, you could always just click on it, maybe put 10. And now it's like they're they're draining. I thought that was kind of neat. Let's just do 20. Oh, that's the scale. 
Blue. Yeah, there you go. So that's kind of neat. Right. So anyways, you guys can play around with this. Uh, it's out right now. So if you go over to my website. So if you jump over to the website, if you click on this water tab, it's just going to automatically go to a link and it's going to go ahead and start uh, downloading. So you may have to approve the download if you want. Uh, I've set up the, the Snow Water, Alpha Glow, Heat Wave, and Paint Trace all to do the same. Now you don't have to go to a separate site in order to download. Um, they're all connected. Unfortunately, Shockwave is still too large of a file for my, uh, for my server to contain. So you will have to go to a separate drive in order to pick up uh, a copy of any of those Shockwaves. Um, uh, I've also kind of set up this site so that uh, it's just kind of a one-stop shop for you guys to go to if you want to just go ahead and pick up one of these uh, free tools. I'm going to be adding a lot more tools here as the, as the months go on. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, just thought I would throw this out there that this has been changed from a fusion comp into a tool. You're more than welcome to pick it up. It's completely free. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.